Hey guys, what's up, it's me then. Welcome back to another video on my channel. It's been like six days since I've uploaded anything. Um, there's not really a reason for that. I do have videos recorded, ready to be made public, but I just haven't got around to making them public. So I guess that's fine. If you're around here, or just a fair way, you can hit that subscribe button. Turn down all notifications bell, set preferences to all. That way, you never miss out on a video or literally anything that I do on this channel but yeah but yes the past couple of days I have been busy working on a project here it is the project the front end um, from this point forwards is all BMX from this point backwards it's a mini motor frame you kind of see the frame here tucked into place so, yeah, um, let me explain a bit about this because I didn't pay for literally any of what you see here. All of what you see in the background cost me zero pounds. Didn't pay a penny for any of it. How do I do that? Well, as you know, um, in one of the videos that I'm going to make public at some point, we went down to my dad's mate tree. A whole bunch of stuff there. I saw the Miss Mini Motor. Um, it is currently attached to something else, but I saw this contraction machine the other day and I asked if I could have it. He said yes, I saw nothing for it. He just said, take it. So I did. And we have transformed it into, I'm calling this like an adult version of a mini motor. It's not, it's nothing serious, it's just a bit of fun, you know, whack in the back of the car, I take it down some lanes. Field. You get the point, it's just a bit of fun. It's not going to break any speed records because it's only a 49cc mini motor engine. This is a souped up version because it has a different head and I think it looks like it has a different cylinder in it too. So we maybe get about 30 miles per hour out of this, but all this didn't cost me a thing. And the past couple of days I have um, just been working on the getting it. To the stage where it's at now. You can see it's painted in a horrible silver. That's not the colour that it's going to be. So you can just put a bit of paint on it um, to just stop it rusting because um, we had some bad weather. In fact, it was actually raining yesterday. But yeah, that's what we worked in the past couple of days. I do have to put in a little bit of progress. I didn't really record much, but I'll insert that bit of now just so you can get up to speed on the speed by one. Yesterday was not a good day either. Our drain was fully blocked, like it was blocked right up to the top. We're not gonna talk about that because um that was disgusting. But yeah, let's continue work on this adult version of the mini motor. Welding isn't the prettiest but it is a strong frame. Um, I don't care what it looks like, like I said, it's just a bit of fun at the end of the day. Welding is not, doesn't look great, but it definitely holds. You can kind of see down here how we have the frame situated and how we've made it like strong. Um, I did make one frame and it had a lot of flex in it, so I made another one. Uh, this is the final thing. Uh, as you can see, we have these bits of metal down here off for your feet. We have one there and obviously one down there, one on both sides. It's for the seat because it's just going to have a standard bicycle seat or maybe like a suspension bicycle seat. Haven't decided on that yet. I say this didn't cost me anything. That is a slight lie. It did cost me something. And I'll explain why. I did have to order a few bits because there were a few bits that were missing. Or they just weren't a hundred percent so I didn't really like it. Um, fuel line and fuel filter I had to order, I can't remember. Um, I ordered a, a um, headset top cap and bolt because that's missing and that's pretty fucking important. Oh, I have to two other things. Oh yeah, I ordered a throttle cable um, and I ordered a throttle assembly, the bit that goes on the handlebars, and a kill switch. Obviously, if it starts, we need it to stop. Um, it currently doesn't have any form of brake, but because I like collecting things, we have these forks and we're going to cut these off and weld them onto the front 
of the BMX sport. So we actually have some form of break. At the end of the day it's just a bit of fun, it's nothing serious. Hopefully it works. I did spray a little bit of easy start in it last night, pulled it and it fired. So when all these bits come in, it should work. What is left to do on this? Well, put the exhaust on, I need to make an exhaust support. I need to do the brakes on the front. Yeah, I need to do the brakes on the front, exhaust support. I need to um, clean up the wiring on it a bit because there's like a wire down here somewhere and some wires up there and wires everywhere. But apart from that, there is not much to do. Like I said, I just got to finish the brakes, put the exhaust on, exhaust support, um, put the seat on. Um, put, make a fuel tank mount. Um, we have just a standard uh, motorized bike fuel tank, you know, the generic kind you get in the bicycle engine kit. Do something like that, like kind of like have it on the back. I was going to put it on the front, but then I thought it, it kind of it kind of gives it a nice look, like a nice finish. So I want to make some mounts for that. Um, we'll probably sit, yeah, we'll sit about there somewhere like that, make some mounts. But yeah, enough rambling. I need to get on with this um, because ideally I want this finished today. Finished when I say finished, I mean complete apart from little things like doing the inner tube on the front, brake line, kit, stuff like that. I just want to get this where it's all together and the rest I don't need the world for. So I've been rambling on for way too long. So I'm going to make some progress with this and I will see you guys in a little bit. So a little while later we made some progress. We got the brakes well welded in place on one side. Just got to go around the other side and weld them in. Uh, these are V brakes. Um, cut these bits. They go on there like so one on both sides cable goes through when you pull the cable they tighten and apply pressure so you can stop um, I could have gone with disc brakes um, but I don't know how I was going to do the disc on the on the BMX wheel um, it is only a 49cc mini motor um, these brakes should be okay. Um, uh, maybe I can work out something to do with disc brakes on the rear as well at some point. But for now, just for testing purposes, and if they work, which I mean they work on any of my other motorized bikes, um, we're using V brakes now. So I'm just going to get these welded up. But to do so, I have to remove the wheel so I can actually get in there to weld around. So once I've got these uh, brakes mounts welded in. Um, the only thing we'll need to do there is make a mount for the fuel tank and then I've just got to wait for Amazon to deliver my bits and it's connect the throttle, the throttle cable, kill switch, fuel line, put some petrol in it, fire it up. Yeah, but it, it's really coming to shape now, but anyway, uh, don't ramble then. Stop rambling, get busy. So, a little while later, we had the fuel tank mount done. Fuel tank is on. So now I'm just waiting for the bits to arrive from Amazon and I'm waiting for my mum to get that with a brake cable making kit and then basically the thing is done. We can try and fire it up. Let me show you how I mount the tank. It's, it's not pretty but it doesn't have to be pretty because like I explained this all cost me nothing. It was all in the scrap pile. As you can see we have the fuel tank mounted on the back we just welded the studs to the frame basically. We had the fuel taps, fuel tap here, so we can turn it on, off, and the fuel line will go from the tap, run inside the frame, down to the carburetor, down there. I, I, the reason why I also did it like that is because the chain is on the outside. I didn't really want to run the fuel line on the outside of the frame, so we run it on the inside. There's no chance of it catching chain and snap you know what I mean but yeah uh, fuel tank is on well hang on now it's on 
But now I'm just waiting for my bits to arrive, so I guess I'll just get back with you guys once they arrive. Hopefully they arrive before the weather changes because it's getting a bit breezy out there. Yeah, a little bit breezy, a few dark clouds in the sky. I think my bits arrive before it rains. If it rains. Fingers crossed. Pray to God that it stays like this because this weather is nice. It's not warm. It's a little bit chilly but the sun's out, you know? I know it's kind of weird, but anyway, get back to you one more. I'll get back to you once my bits have arrived. A little while later, still waiting for my bits to arrive from Amazon, but we have made a bit more progress since last time you saw it, so let me show you. We now have front brakes, working front brakes. We've put in a new inner tube. We've got the wheel and everything aligned. Obviously brake pads adjusted and aligned correctly, so is the cable. So now I am literally just waiting for my bits to arrive from Amazon, which includes fuel line fuel filter, uh, throttle assembly, throttle cable, and a top cap and bolt for the headset. So hopefully it arrives soon. But this, doesn't that look kind of, it looks kind of, well, it looks different, but I think it looks kind of cool. Yeah, I'm now to prepare bits of life from Amazon, fuel line, and got a cable, got assembly and that thing. Yeah, this box is good. One thing I don't like is this fuel line is an obnoxious kind of, but I'm going to hurry up. Get all these bits on and we can try the fire with that. Hopefully, she'll run okay on petrol. The fire on the start, and I did just give the car the clean, but um, it was filthy there, so we can whack all this stuff on. Hopefully, it all goes to the as planned. Hopefully, it all works. I'll see you when it's all on and we're ready to start it. <laughs> so, all the bits are on. Only thing I've got to need to do is wire up kill switch. Don't like the exhaust where it is, I mean. So I may get another one of them. Um, but the engine does run. You're going to have to take my. Yeah, that, oh, that, that is hot. Um, I can't show you it in the video because. Something happened to the pull cord that totally pull cord totally. So I'll just get a whole new one of them. So we don't have to mess with it. Brakes. We are working brakes. Just need inner tube for the front tire. I need to do a kill switch, sort of pull start, maybe change the exhaust. There's nothing wrong with the exhaust. It's just, a, it, um, I don't know, we'll run it now. Basically complete, apart from a few little things. Keep in mind, this was built for free. Didn't cost me a thing, apart from the bits and pieces from Amazon. But apart from that, it's free. All this metal and everything you see in the video now was going to go to the scrapyard. And we created this. Very happy with it. Um, like I said, there are a few things I need to sort out. I need to do the kill switch. Um, sort the um, inner tube, and maybe kind of like maybe change how the exhaust is. I pushed it to the back door and <laughs> drove it down the ground. Like, Fuck me! For a 49 cc, it pulls the big boy. I'll admit, when you first get going. It is a little bit slow, but once it picks up, it's fucking fast. Quite a nippy little thing. But yeah, I'm really, I'm, I'm proud of myself for making this because it's kind of like saving the environment, and it? Because I'm not just going out and buying one new. I made it from scrap. It was literally everything free, engine free, frame free, BMX bits. The only bits I had to pay for were the bits from Amazon, but that was nothing at the end of the day. But this whole build didn't cost me a penny. There are a few things I need to 
sort out on it as I said but we'll get around to them at some point but the main thing is it runs we know it runs and we know it balls so we're definitely going to be having some fun on this never miss out on a video or on the this channel yeah I hope you have enjoyed this video and this little thing don't know what to call it leave some suggestions down below I was kind of thinking of calling it crotch rocket <laughs> but anyway I'm going to tidy up the tools going um, yeah this new name that's what I I'll see you in next one hopefully in the next one we'll be taking that in the back of the car to a field or something like just doing it a bit of a bug or maybe up and down the street anyway I'll see you in the next one